Our next skill is going to be a paraffin bath. And for this treatment, this is a uh, form of heat therapy or thermotherapy for chronic injuries. And in this scenario, we're going to say that it is, is for a chronic um, uh, sprain of her, her thumb. Um, first thing that we want to do is uh, make sure that we have our uh, towel and a bag, um, our timer. We also want to make sure bef um, that we inspect the area and uh, check the patient's chart before uh, we start treatment. And we also want to make sure that there aren't any contraindications, she has any, any con contraindications for this treatment, uh, in this case uh, an acute injuries and, and others. Next we want to make sure that re she removes all jewelry um, from the, um, the part that we are treating. Uh, it could be watches or uh, rings or other items. Uh, we also want to make sure that she washes her hands. Um, uh, she can use the uh, soap here or she can wash it really good in the uh, sink. The key thing we also want to make sure is that the hands are, are really dry um, because um, we want to make sure that the she doesn't, if she has any water on the um, hands, then they, they could also cause, uh, bubbles could cause burning to the skin. We also want to make sure that um, in our paraffin unit here, uh, it's all melted. And clean. The temperature of this is 130 degrees. And what we're going to do, um, want to instruct the, the patient is what, there's two different methods that we're, that we're going to be teaching. Um, one is the dipping uh, method. Uh, we're going to dip it and it's a, actually immersion. Uh, what we're gonna, she's going to do is she's going to dip her thumb uh, above the, the injured joint that you want to treat and she's going to hold it in there briefly and then hold it back out, let the wax dry, and then we're going to repeat that about uh, six to ten times. Um, and, but every time after that, she's not going to go the depth, she's not going to dunk her, her thumb the, the depth as the first uh, immersion. Uh, a couple key things that you need to remind the patients is that they do not want to move the, the hand while it's uh, uh, you know, either in the wax or out of the wax when the wax is drying. Um, so, and also remind them that the wax is hot, um, so um, the, the initial one might be a, a little bit warmer than the others, uh, but it shouldn't burn her, okay? So again, after um, the, the hand is ready and, and dried, uh, she's going to stick her thumb in, go just above the joint, and pull it out. Again, reminding her to keep it there, and again, let the excess wax drop into the unit, okay? And then once that's, dr that's hardened, dried enough, we're gonna, she's going to dunk it again, but just remind her not to go to the, the first, just below the first dip that she did. A little bit lower. Okay. Pull it out. And like I said, we would repeat this um, six to ten times. And each time it, it's each layer is making it a little bit warmer on the bottom layer. And again, just for time's sake, um, we're gonna, we'll stop after this third one. And then after this one dries, for the immersion treatment, what she's going to do is she's going to immerse her thumb and, and keep it in, in there. So after this one's dry, she's going to do the immersion. So she's going to keep the thumb in the wax while you time this for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, again reminding her not to move the body part. Okay, that's the immersion treatment. Okay, another technique that we can do is the dip method or um, the pack or, or hand, hand method technique. Um, so we would pull that pull that thumb out and pretend that that was the the tenth, six to tenth um, uh, dip that you put the hand in, and then after that one dries, make sure that one dries again. Make sure that she doesn't move the um, 
and uh, the hand. I'm going to put this in a uh, plastic bag over the top of this one to help seal the, keep the wax in there, the hot wax covered. And then we can also um, put a towel around it okay, outside of the plastic bag to help, again, keep the, the heat over the injured area. We can also keep it um, elevated. Um, and again, this is where we would set our, t our timer for uh, the 15 to 20 minutes. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention while we were dipping, or if at any time the, um, the wax gets too hot, if the wax is too hot, then we can add more mineral oil, or we can unplug the unit and let it uh, cool off for a little bit before she dunks it in there. If the wax uh, gets too cool, then we can add more um, wax to it because um, the wax that in there is um, uh, seven parts wax and one part mineral oil. So after the 20 minutes, then we can take the towel off. And we can also take the plastic off, inspect the body part. And she can also, um, you want to make sure that when she has the wax, do not put the wax back into the paraffin unit. Um, you want to make sure that she peels it off into a trash can. And does not reuse it or make candles with it. Uh, you can also, again, inspect the area, set up a next appointment, uh, record the chart, um, and that is it for the paraffin bath. If, it, if you need to add more wax to it or clean it out, just make sure um, uh, that you do that uh, appropriately as protocol for your facility. That is it.